love of the Lord throughout the entire world. World and I'm Brian Tudor, Morning Star Communications of MC Ministries, and on behalf of my beautiful anointed wife Anita Hewitt, we welcome you to our broadcast. We thank you for the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ of this day. We're live here from Los Angeles, California, guiding to the aspirations of the loving truth. And tonight, this afternoon, we're speaking of the Father of Faith, Abraham, coming into this glory and moment that we have for each and every one of us, guiding to the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ and guiding, guiding us to his nutritional, spiritual love and all that he has for each and every one of us. That has been a very unique week during for the entire world. Hezbollah has bombed uh, Israel. Egypt and other countries are denouncing uh, Israel for defending itself. Uh, the market has been rumored of physical cliff, and as my wife prepared to go about the day, she's asked me to share with you that the world is to, can declare all of the physical cliffs they want, but we as a church, in the unity, without division of God's church, can, spring, can bring out the declaration that we are declaring a progression of the church not a recess, not a depression, not any stagnations, and uh, and then we must also bring into wisdom and discernment for 18,000 people that lost their jobs today from the Hostess Twinkie Company, and little did I know that people were Ralph jumping and jumping and getting the last boxes of um, what my wife and I grew up on, uh, eating and I just seen it's the Twinkie. So, um, blessings to the wisdom and discernment of these 18,000 people who have been there for some time. In the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Let's, we're going to be in Genesis chapter 15 for, for our foundation scripture today, Genesis 15. And as we move about the Lord's manner of his business, let's get a clean sheet and open paper. Let's go before the throne of God because we'll be doing some tap dancing through the scriptures as always. Dear Jesus, we love you. Well, our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and with judgment of Christ. We thank you for this time, your love, your truth, how you bring us to your mountaintop, how you bring us to your glory, how you bring us to the everlasting truth. Dear Lord, we love you. Well, our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the wisdom of the truth. We thank you for the, your, your guidance of your love, of your time. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Okay, and you're watching us over Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Ustream, and our Jcast Live, which is under our watch, is now link at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com, and our full name is Morning Star Communications Network, MCM Ministries. We are your 501c3 certified church here in Southern California. Brothers and sisters, we need faith. It's, it is sprung from something but the size of a mustard seed. When we come into the presence of God, as we discussed last night, to be full of the glory, blessed from God, to raise the praise every day. Foundation scripture found in Genesis 15, verse 6, speaking of Abraham, the father of faith. And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. For righteousness. One of the greatest men in history has been to be the father of faith, Abraham. Christians view him as the father of all of them that believe. Romans chapter 4, verse 11. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had while still uncircumcised that he might be the father of all of those who believe, though they are uncircumcised, that righteousness might be imputed to them also. What is more noteworthy about Abraham was his faith, beyond what we can see in today's world. Paul made reference to his faith time and time again. Romans chapter 4, verse 3 is one of these expressions. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Or as Romans chapter 
4, verse 3, and verse 9 of chapter 4 of Romans. Does this, does this blessedness then come upon the, uns, upon the circumcised only, or upon the uns, uncircumcised also? For we say that faith was accounted by Abraham for righteousness. We come, <clears throat> and he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Again, Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. <clears throat> Our faith must be based upon the revelation of God from God. Now that God reveals himself to us as he did to Abraham. But faith comes through the word of God. Correct? Romans 10, 17. Someone can you give me a shout out on that because we should all know that. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hearing by the word of God. Thank you, Jesus, for this blessed news. Thank you, Jesus, for this guidance. Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity of coming forward of your name, for your name. <clears throat> In the master's name of Jesus, we sing of your truth. We sing of your love. We sing of your guidance of this moment, of your time. From the tabernacle of your love to the wisdom and the power of your discernment. Guidance to the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, take us and <clears throat> love us. We are yours. We come into this guidance, O oh Lord. We come into the aspirations of this truth. By faith, Abraham obeyed God. He left his country. Hebrews 11, verse 8. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place where he could receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. <clears throat> he sojourned in a foreign land. In verses 9 and 10. By faith he dwelt the land of promise as in a foreign country. Dwelling in a tent with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise, where he waited for the city whether, which ha has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. He offered his son Isaac. In verse 17 of Hebrews 11. By faith Abraham when he was tested. When he was proved. I should say. Offered up Isaac. And he, and he who had received. The promises. Offered up his only begotten son. And this scripture comes from the new. King James Version. Remember the God. God proves us. The devil tests us. And James chapter 2. Verse 21. Was not Abraham our father justified by the works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? By faith we must obey God. By faith, for the gospel calls for obedience to the faith. For the obedience to the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 1, verse 5. Through him we receive grace and apostle for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. For his name coming into the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. For his name, we speak of the realities of God bringing to us of, of one mind and one judgment of Christ, of guiding us to the aspirations of his truth, his love, the perfection that God brings to each and every one of us. Lord, take us, love us, we're yours. Bring us to your inheritance, bring us to your love, bring us to your the elegance of your truth. Guide us to the sustaining glory for the matchless name of Jesus. Jesus precious name we are being delivered from the yoke of bondage of sin we are being delivered into the righteousness and the perfectionist that God brings us to he, he clothes us with these robes of peacefulness perfectionness righteousness he guides us to this sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ he guides us to this inheritance of this time God's endless run of his love to the elegance of his love, to his truth. Dear Jesus, we love you. We have laid our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live in the secrets of our heart. If we desire to have the faith of Abraham, we must have faith that works through love. Love, peace, faith, are gifts from God, joy, hope, faith, the three rings of royalty that you wear upon your heart, the new heart, 
for all of eternity. We are coming to this point of our broadcast, everyone, that those that have been watching my anointed wife Anita and yours truly, Brian Stewart, for some time, coming into the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, at just going on 12.45 p.m. You can watch us live over Ustream, YouTube, and we can. Our, our name of our service is the faith of Abraham. In the master's name of Jesus, we come, cry unto you. We love you. We speak of the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, guiding us to the sweet embrace of his time, his love, his truth. Again, you can watch us over Ustream live of YouTube, live over Twitter. And that was my wife just chiming in. If it is the faith of, of or trust in Jesus prompting us to obey that pleases God and not some materialist value of the work done to receive God's grace. Works, false promises, will not lead us to a full gracefulness of God. The faith of Abraham was not static in its faith, but an ever-growing faith that came, that came through being a friend of God. James chapter 2 verse 23 and a scripture was fulfilled which says Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness for he was called the friend of God the friend of God grow in faith grow in faith as we move into this part of the broadcast as we again bring our ask our experience for you is to, to guide us to love us and to bring about the peacefulness of the Lord's creation, to preserve those that are lost without Christ into the inheritance of the living word of God. God loves us. God brings us to this obedience of his truth. God shines us ever so much, ever, ever so much of the glory. To bring us in the unity of the Holy Spirit to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. To guide us to the sweet embrace and the majesty of his love. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. With the anticipation of the ever-changing world around us. We know, all of us should know, that God is married to the backslider. God is informing everybody throughout the world that this is your time to come forward with Christ. This is your time to move into the renewing of the mind, the, the new heart that God has given you surgically, surgically to remove the old stony edges of the old heart to place in the new heart, and to guide with a sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the power of faith is bringing you to this call. Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repeat this after me. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am only right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you, Father, for bringing me forward. I am lifting your name up before the throne of God, but most important, God is singing your name. The angels, God's very own angel is singing your names before the throne of God. Before the throne of God. Guiding us to that embrace. Guiding us to that ever so glorious truth. Guiding us. Guiding us to this new day, this new evening, this power, this glory. Coming to you at this special edition here of the noontime, noontime broadcast here. Of Anissa and the man of Brian Stewart of Morning Star Communication or Chemistry Ministries. Uh, we want you to come to get to know us and come visit us at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. Sharing the inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ to be a part of this ministry. We want you to be part of our missionary teams, our evangelical team, our broadcast team as we prepare to, get, to go into the world in 2013 to Africa, India, Asia, Europe. And as you plant your financial seed into, to this ministry, God brings you with a vision written and composed in the book of John, 
chapter 4, verse 35. Your harvest is now. Your fields are white. Ready for the harvest, ready for the picking. As you pick this harvest, you don't have to wait four months from now. It's ready, it's yours. And as you take this harvest, God shows you the task, the responsibilities, how to use these provisions, how to build upon the plans. Then he shows you the manifestation, with the vision to the manifestation. That the living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And the windows of heaven from Malachi in chapter 3 will open up above you, pour down blessings upon you, that you have no room in your storehouse to plant them, plant them to keep them or save them. This is just one blessing of millions coming upon more and more as you become a, a steward of your tithes and offering. Remember, the power is not so much in you, the sower, it is in the seed that you plant. Again, coming, there are two, a couple different journeys you can make to send us your tithes and offerings. One is to click on our contact link at ryanchewood.com. Our full name is Morning Star Communications Network, MCM Ministries. We are a 501c3 certified church here in the United States. The second is if you send us a check, make it payable to that, a Morning Star Communications Network, MCM Ministries. We'll get a receipt after the first of the year for your taxes. Also, brethren, you will have a contact link. You can send us your donation immediately. You get a receipt also after the first of the year. With this truth, you will be sending each and every one the task of the responsibilities of your love. The guidance that we have for each and every one, the guidance to this task, what God has for all of you. Guide us to your love. Guide us to your sweet embrace. Guide us to the now of your faith the measurement that comes upon us and the realities of this truth, how the truth sets us all free. We come in all in all and obed to be obedient in faith, trusting in faith, growing in faith, guiding us with the aspirations of the truth, the freedom, spelled L-O-V-E, guiding each and every task that we have guiding to every newness of the embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verse 7, Therefore know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham, because those who are of faith are blessed with believe the believing Abraham. Believe in God. Believe in yourself. Believe in your families to tie that in, into the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and with one judgment of Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verse 9, so then those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. If your seed shall be the nations of the earth, be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. And that is from Genesis 18:18. 18, 18. We come. Since Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. In him. In the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, let's move about our lives with faith, backing up our works with faith, backing up our faith with works, and coming into the understanding that we cannot do this alone. We have God. And we can tip the scales of the world upside down in the name of Jesus, but we need to incorporate other people and receive those people that wish to teach us the gospel. The pastors, the teachers, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors. Coming into the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, come into the, the accountability uh, that we have in Jesus' precious name. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the loving spirit. We come into the uh, guidance of your moment, your truth, your truth, so we'll set us all free. We thank you for the loving truth that you brought us here today, this assignment of this time. To come into your glory, to come into your expression, to come into your, your manners of your hope. Guide us into your embrace. We thank you for the new mercies of this day. We thank you for the wisdom and discernment you pour upon all of us. We thank you for the traveling mercies of all those that are special and dead to us all. And we thank you for the blessing, the healing of, of, of my wife love that she gives to me all from your throne room of God, and love that I give to you from your throne room of God. In your time, in your love, in the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee.
Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this afternoon. I'll see you in the evening hour and morning time. You evening time here in Los Angeles in a few hours, around six between six and eight p.m. And a good morning to your Asia. We look forward to coming to you, and we thank you for our brothers and sisters in Singapore for translating our services. My wife and I, and from the throne of God, we love you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we walk by. We want to thank you for your time until next time. We walk by faith and not by sight. Do stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at 2013. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people. Baby, you've got. I was gonna surprise you, and you, you, you.